A tri-state woman's idea to help out parents is catching on in Butler County. Nine News reporter Tony Maronis went to Middletown and found something silver in the lining of a diaper. My greatest fear is that we would have to close the doors of this place. She's in the business of charity, and her center provides diapers, clothing, and formula, along with pregnancy tests, to girls who don't have the money. Last year we saw 1,400. We saw 400 more girls this year. It totally shocked us that we were seeing that many. So what did the director of the Middletown Pregnancy Center think of a phone call she got from a woman with hopes of collecting over 20,000 diapers for her center. People come up to me all the time and say, I really want to do something for this organization, and then I really don't hear from a lot of them again. Candace never met Kelly Schilling. Actually, I've been volunteering uh, pretty much since high school. She's been involved with nursing homes, has a foster dog, and involved with food pantries. And that was one thing at the food pantry that people always came in and asked for, was diapers, because they're not covered by food stamps. She did it. More than 25,000 backside covers for little ones. If you're wondering what 25,000 diapers look like, well, here it is. This is a portion of it. Can't show you the rest because it goes another 15 feet back and 8 feet high and 3 feet deep. But to give you an idea, I'm holding 50 diapers. That'll last most people four days. That will affect hundreds of young girls whose faces she will never see and they will never know her. To some, this could be considered a silver lining. People like Kelly Schilling doing what she's done uh, lets me know we're going to go on. In Middletown, Tony Moronis, 9 News. What a great project.